So here we're going to show you how to use the new ACT combo in Revolver 4 to analyze and match your own amplifier. Then once you've done this, you can have that amp tone literally anywhere in the world. The first thing to do is plug into your amp and get a great tone. Once this is achieved, you then need to mic it up accordingly to capture that tone. In this example, I'm using three microphones as I've found these all work particularly well together. But you can, of course, just use one. Some of the greatest guitar sounds of all time have been captured using a single SM57. Then in Pro Tools here, I'm going to create four new tracks. The first three I'm going to set as the microphone inputs and record arm them. The fourth track I'm going to open Revolver 4 as a plug-in, then in the Amps and Cabs menu, load up the ACT combo module. From here, I'm going to emulate the settings I have on my actual amplifier by selecting the Heavy option, then adjust the gain in EQs to match the settings on my amp as closely as possible. Then moving up to the Analyze section, I press the Sine Wave icon. This will bring up a dialog that will then save an audio file to be played back through your amp. Once this has happened, go back to your DAW, import the audio, and let it load onto a new track. I've set this track to go out of my audio interface into my amplifier, and I'll just do a quick test to make sure the interface levels are set correctly. Then I just hit play and record the output of the amp. Finally, I mute the imported WAV file from Revolver, set the levels of the three tracks I've just recorded, and render them down. And this is where the magic happens. Going back into Revolver 4, either as a plug-in or in standalone mode, I can now go to the second icon in the Analyze section. Making sure the gain, EQ, and volume controls closely resemble the actual amp settings again, I can load up the rendered file of my amp recording and allow the software to emulate my amp tone. You can then use the EQ Assist, or the Lows and High Shelving EQ, to tame the high and low end. Now within the ACT combo, I have my guitar tone, which I can use at any time, anywhere. If I copy up the dry guitar track to play back through the plug-in and switch between soloing this and then the actual recorded guitar, you'll be able to hear how the tone has been matched. To further improve the ACT combo results, you can pick a pre-profiled analysis of your personal guitar that has been created in the Input ACT GUI. Note that you must select a guitar profile before analyzing a pre-recorded sound clip or live amp. Changing guitar profile afterwards will have no effect on the result. Now, if you don't have the facility to clone your own amp, or maybe you'd prefer somebody else's tone, then you can simply load up a recording of an amp you would like to clone into the recording portion of the Analyze section. PV will also have pre-made ACT combo presets available in the Revolver Amp Store. This will be an ever-expanding library of tones from some of the greatest amps ever made. <laughs>